This more PDF getting started tutorial covers all the technical steps in using the more PDF system. This is an ANSYS workbench plugin. So first start the ANSYS workbench with your project loaded. Open your ANSYS model from analysis and then switch on the more PDF ANSYS plugin to get started. First go to the extensions menu, go to the manage extensions, bring up the dialog showing all the plugins and find the 70 more PDF and click the checkbox next to it to enable it and then close. Once that's enabled, there's also a second way to do this, which is to go to the Extensions Act Start Page menu, also on the top menu. And then once this dialog comes up, you'll see the Manage Extensions option. Once that's opened, all the icons for the extensions are shown, and you enable and click on the 70 More PDF plugin to enable it. And then close that tab. Now that that's loaded, you can start the model by double clicking on your model within the ANSYS Workbench schematic. Once it opens, you can see the 3D model results in a 3D view, and you can also see the More PDF plugin has added a menu ribbon bar entry with three buttons. First, before we use it, we need to prepare the model so exactly as it should appear within the PDF once it's exported. So to start with, we need to take a close look at the result analysis visualizations and prepare them exactly as we'd like to see them in the report, for instance, stress, train, displacement, and other physical values. These will be transferred exactly as they appear to the PDF. So they'll also capture the 3D view orientation, size, layout, and view of the particular model. In addition, the legend can be prepared so we can set exactly the contour values and the colors used in the contours so that they match exactly what we'd like to see in the final visualization. Once all that's set, we can also look at other characteristics of the visualization, for instance, displacement, and change the magnification factor to get a good visual result. In this case, we'll use a factor of 20. So before we use more PDF, we need to take care to select the post-processing solution option from the project tree here. We'll select equivalent stress as the value we'd like to see. Once that's selected, we can push the more PDF button, confirm that we're starting it, and then the more PDF settings dialog panel appears with many more of the detailed options to control it. This automatically picks up the solution that we selected. And we can see that here in the central area of the panel, the analysis view and the results uh, that we're going to show is all picked up. And we can verify that and confirm that's exactly what we intended. The next step is simply to push the Generate PDF File button on the bottom right of this panel, which starts the process of capturing the workbench data and producing a new 3D PDF file. This automatically opens, and in this case, it's opened with the default PDF reader, the Adobe Acrobat DC, which can show 3D. It also picks up the legend and the title bar text that's above the legend and all the colors and the values we've associated within our workbench project. The 3D view becomes a scene within the PDF page and this can be manipulated by pan, zoom, and rotate and there's a toolbar to help with that. There's also a value probe so you can click on somewhere within the surface of the 3D model and see the stress result numerically also on the same PDF page reflected by that click selection with a small icon. You can also disable the value probe and then select parts or submodels within the model and hide and show each of these. So we can pick on hide on that particular selection and now we can see the interior of the model to reveal details that would otherwise be hidden. This has generated a one-page 
new PDF file. However, it's also possible to create a 3D scene inside of a full multi-page report. This means you can put it in the context of all the other results, the analysis, screenshots, and other explanatory details behind the analysis. It's very typical that you'd want to explain the outcome, the assumptions, the physical conditions, the materials that were used in the simulation. Typically reports to the clients are written in a word processor such as Microsoft Word where all of the technical report details can be prepared in the normal fashion showing 2D material. And here we can extend and enrich this by adding our 3D view taken from the workbench environment. So to start with, when we're authoring this report, we can deliberately leave some area on any particular page which is blank where the 3D scene will go later on. In this case, we've left some area on page 2, and we can see that there's enough space that we can put a whole 3D scene embedded within the whole context of the report. So out of that Word document we save as a PDF document and then we can see in the PDF this is opened we can see page 2 has this blank area that we've left intentionally to put the 3D view later on. So going back to our workbench environment we can pick up this other project where we have a stress analysis of a part and we'd like to add this to our full 3D report. So again we need to select the particular visualization solution that we want to export. Then we click on the more PDF icon at the top, bring up the more PDF detailed menu panel again. But this time right at the top there's an input PDF document menu and we can use this to select and bring up a file browser and select on the report that we've just created out of Microsoft Word. And normally we'd leave the checkbox here to edit the existing page and we can step through each of the pages in a preview to find the best place where this new view can go. And we can also uh, get an idea of where it should be. So there's a menu um, in the center here that we can select page 2 as the target position for our new 3D scene to be embedded. And we can step through the preview areas and see the layout that will be used for the scene. We can immediately see that the default view is a little large for that area on the page and we can use the page layout menus to change the top and bottom margins to give our view a better layout within that uh, page 2 area of our document. We can also see that the legend could do with a bit of adjustment, so we'll change the width and the margin against the 3D view area so they line up better and give us more 3D space. The preview page gives us a nice live dynamic view of whatever layout changes we're making. So before we generate this view, we can change some other things in the menus and have a look at how this is organized. First we can set the output file name where the new PDF will go and this is automatically generated from the input PDF document report. We can see that the uh, input report has bracket 0 and bracket 1 is automatically added uh, so that they don't conflict. We can take a look at some of the other menus in here on some tabs within the menu. The first one is the 3D view we've uh, looked at for layout adjustment. We can change the page size if it's a new PDF. We can change the 3D viewport position on the page. The data source automatically comes from Workbench, but ANSYS CFD can be brought in through AVZ files. Also, the model can be simplified to reduce file size for using localized filtering. The legend can be adjusted. You can change the values and the colors at this point and edit the text in the header above the legend if you wish. This is particularly helpful if you're bringing in external files. 
The security can be set on the PDF so that you can change the permissions of what's allowed to be exported or done with the PDF and set passwords to protect the contents and set the encryption mode. Also, you can always switch between creating a completely new page within the report or adding to an existing page. If you're inserting a new page, this will insert a page in between other pages within the report, essentially appending uh, the content. But of course, in our case, we've already described the layout, so we'll leave this on editing existing page. So once we've set up everything, we can click on the Generate PDF button, and this again generates a full PDF. This time it's referencing the report that we've created, so we have this full seven-page report and we see on page two we have a 3D view that's been added with our scene. And this is right in context with all the summary description of the model, the analysis assumptions, and the outcome of the simulation. And 3D view can be viewed by uh, moving around in 3D within this scene with zoom, pan, and rotate, and seeing the uh, legend areas that have been picked up directly from the workbench. Again, each part can be selected individually if we turn off the model probe and different parts can be hidden or shown as needed to interrogate and zoom into the detail to get a good understanding of the outcome of this simulation. So for more information, see morepdf.com.